Hello again, this is Lawrence Wagner, Senior Engineer for Anderson Reading Heating. This presentation is our ninth video and we'll discuss the best flooring materials to use and moisture emission of the concrete slab. I need to provide an important warning about replacing any floor materials in the Acker home. Don't remodel or replace any floor coverings without a hydrostatic pressure test of the radiant tubing and the domestic water system. It is too often the case that a flooring contractor, when not familiar with radiant heat, will replace the flooring material without this consideration. It can result in doing the work again and damage to the new floor should either system contain leaks in the tubing. Another warning, always remember that the vast majority of leaks occur without the presence of surfacing water and it doesn't take surfacing water to damage the new floor. The only way to, to be sure of a leak-free condition is to have a licensed hydronic contractor perform a proper hydrostatic pressure test of each system before any work begins on the floor replacement. Let's talk about R values. At a technical level, R value is the measure of heat flow through the given thickness of a material. The higher the R value, the greater the restriction to the flow of heat. It is only common sense that materials with less R value would be the materials of choice to ensure the greatest efficiency of operation for the Eichler radiant panel. Many floor contractors are unaware of the R values of the materials and install anything the owner wants in order to secure the job. Both the owner and the floor contractor should take an equal role in installing flooring that is suited for the Eichler heating system. Almost all flooring materials will work for the Eichler home and I haven't seen a flooring material that completely prevented the introduction of heat. However, some do the job much better in ensuring the best heat transfer and heating of the conditioned space. As an example, when installing carpeting, there is an industry rubber pad called the thermal pad designed for radiant heat. It has an R value of 0.250 and is dense rubber. A bonded urethane pad has an R value of 1.4 to 2.15. This means it is six to nine times more resistant to the heat transfer, so not the best product for the application. Hair jute, which was a common material used in the Eichler, has an R value of 1.25 to 1.94, which far exceeds some of the better padding choices. One can search the internet for R values of common flooring materials to see the information. If you do not have access to the internet, just call us at 408-378-3868 and we would be happy to provide them for you. Always check with the manufacturer that their products and warranties are approved for radiant floor installation. Most wooden flooring manufacturers warranty their products whose surface temperatures not to ex exceed 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which a radiant panel should need to surpass. Parquet and other wooden flooring have been bonded directly to the concrete or over a flexible pad before installation of a floating wood floor. Luxurious wall-to-wall -wall carpeting and rugs of all kinds can be used. The limitation here is to choose the right pad. Expose concrete slabs with the new epoxy finishes along with VCT tiles and ceramics works very well. Sheet vinyls and linoleum are not recommended because of an adverse environmental reaction of the material to moisture, humidity, and staining from abnormal pH conditions produced by wet concrete. One final suggestion, always keep in mind that if future repairs are required to the systems located in or under the concrete slab and will require penetration of the slab for access, have additional spare flooring materials. A recommendation of a 20% overrun would be something to consider and will facilitate the repair without the need to replace the entire floor area. Manufacturers and contractors will insist they need a barrier to maintain the integrity of their products while not caring about the problems for future detection and repair. It is a trade-off, but the installation of a barrier to help mitigate moisture problems is the more common approach and should be installed since concrete constantly interacts with the conditions around it. Temperature, humidity, and other factors all have an impact on the moisture levels in the concrete. The main source of, source of moisture in the Eichler concrete slab is a result from it rising from below the slab. 
moisture vapor that comes up usually results from failing to install a low permeance vapor retarder directly below the slab. Unfortunately, Eichler did not install a barrier. Not using a barrier to stop the moisture sets the stage for major problems. Excessive moisture from floor slabs after the installation of a new floor can cause the floor covering system to fail because of debonding of coatings, high pH attack on floor finishes, microbial growth, release of adhesives, and flooring expansion. If moisture issues can be identified and mitigated before the floor covering is installed through a hydrost hydrostatic pressure test, corrective measures are much simpler and less expensive than after the flooring is in place. If high moisture is discovered by testing the concrete, then proper precautions should be taken to prevent flooring system failures. Several approaches are being, being promoted to mitigate moisture related influences for new and remodeled Eichler projects before the flooring is installed. Topical applications used for moisture mitigation include reactive penetrants, moisture re retarding coatings, modified overlays like epoxy based or epoxy modified coatings, and dispersive membranes. There are floor covering options with higher tolerances to moisture problems such as VCT tiles and ceramics that will perform in an elevated RH slab up to 95%. The breathable nature of these flooring products allow moisture to pass through the backing and grout rather than trap it underneath. This method of vapor transmission allows the flooring to be installed with no moisture mitigation that is bonded directly to the concrete as long as the relative humidity test reads 95% or below. There is no doubt that the VCT tiles and ceramics are the best choices for flooring materials that allow the most efficient heating of the home and easy access for future repairs. I am very sorry to say, but as the Eichler home gets older, there will be a need to penetrate the concrete for repair of the radiant heat, plumbing system, waste sewer, drain piping, and electrical systems. Don't be caught short without extra flooring materials. We are available to advise you on the best choices for floor replacement, and because of our more than 50 years of experience with the Eichler home, more qualified than most flooring contractors to do so. Visit our website at radiantheat.net for more information. This is Lawrence Wagner, Senior Engineer for Anderson Radiant Heating. I truly hope we have helped, and thank you for your interest.